At the Harvard Stem Cell Institute, a pair of researchers have discovered a protein that transforms the failing hearts of old mice into better functioning hearts, like those in younger mice. And this same protein is found in humans. Dr. Richard Lee and Amy Wagers, both of the Harvard Stem Cell Institute, tried an experiment in which they took the heart of an old mouse that had thickened and stiffened with age and supplied it with the blood of a young, healthy mouse. They discovered that supplied with the young blood, the old heart was rejuvenated and took on the appearance and efficiency of the heart of a young mouse. We eventually were able to find a protein that could very quickly reverse the effects of the aging heart in mice and make the heart appear young. <clears throat> so for us, this opens the window on a potential treatment for patients with heart disease. The protein is called GDF11. It's present in high levels in young mice and low levels in old mice. When we corrected that deficiency in that substance so that the old animals now had levels of the substance that were equivalent to young animals, we could actually reverse these changes that occur with age in the heart. Dr. Lee is also a cardiologist at the Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston. How are you feeling? It's absolutely frightening not mm -hmm. to be able to breathe. Dr. Lee's patient has diastolic heart failure, the most common form of heart failure due to aging in the United States. The blood starts to back up from the heart because it can't fill enough and more pressure is needed in the lungs to supply the heart with blood. And that pressure back in the lungs causes the lungs to fill up and the patient can't breathe. Doctors Lee and Wagers say it's doubtful they could have made this discovery without the help of the Harvard Stem Cell Institute. HSCI support was essential for this project to happen. It not only allows us to do adventuresome things that we wouldn't otherwise do, it gives us the freedom to to work together and it encourages the collaborations. The blood is full of all kinds of things and trying to narrow down what might be the responsible factor was going to be a big challenge and I think that's where the collaboration was was so wonderful in that we could take advantage of expertise in both of our laboratories to really hone in on what might be the, the, the responsible substance. We tend to think about aging as a sort of an inevitable decline and, and what this finding says is that you can turn back the clock on some characteristics and that I think offers a lot of insight and a lot of hope in uh, understanding and treating age-related diseases.